when your friends let you down, what do you think you need to do? When people around you try to shut you off, even as you are trying to run after your dream to achieve your success, what do you do at that time? Do you bow down and start to cry? Do you give up or do you keep moving forward? Most successful people and most motivational people will tell you to keep moving forward. Is it the right thing to do? Keep watching and let's get more insight into this topic. Hello everyone, my name is Avalaki Janet Oyelami. I'm not going to take much of your time today. I just want to go straight to the point. I'm going to focus more on the keyword for today and I'm going to break it down to make you understand what you need to do when people try to shut you off, when people or friends around you let you down. The keyword for today says, two blind men noticed Jesus was passing by. They shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. People shut them off to stop shouting for help because they were disturbing others. But the more people shut them off, the more they screamed Jesus' name for help. And they finally got their sight. Friends, on your way to achieve your dream, the more you work on it, the more family, friends, co-workers will say words to discourage you and shut you off. Persistence is the key to achieve your success. Keep moving. Trying to achieve your dream and trying to become successful is like you are running a race. At the beginning of the race, what do you need to do? Number one, use your discerning spirit, the discerning gift in you to grab opportunity. The two blind men noticed Jesus was passing by. That was the opportunity for them to get their sight. And they grabbed the opportunity. They never let it go. As a Christian, as a child of God, you definitely need the discerning gift in this end time. Because there are a lot of deceiving people around the world. Number two, you need to shout for help. The two blind men shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on us. So, in this generation, what you need to do, do not sit down. Research for mentors who will assist you in achieving your dream. Research for mentors who have experienced the same thing you are trying to achieve. Research for them. If you can't pay for them, get them on YouTube, on Google. Actually, it's free. And listening to their advice. Looking for mentors is a physical action you need to take. The spiritual aspect is for you to shout unto the Lord to help you, to lead you. Number three, what you need to do at the beginning of your race is ignore discouragers. Ignore negative saying from anyone around you. If you look at the two blind men, the disciples, everybody around them are saying, can you just keep quiet? You are disturbing others. But the more they shouted at them, the more they tried to shut them off, the more these two blind men started to scream for Jesus. They finally got their miracle because they ignore negative people around them. So they don't care about what people say about them. They shouted for the help. They ignore what people say and they got what they wanted. For example, there was famine in the land of Israel long time ago. So people started eating each other. So these four leprosy men, they said they will go into the camp of the enemy. If they kill them, they don't care. If they, don't, if they leave them alive, they don't care. So they went into the camp and found their miracle. So what am I saying here? They ignore what people will say. Why did you go there? They ignore what others will say about them. They went into the camp of the enemy and 
they got the miracle. Ignore whatever anyone is trying to say negatively against you at the beginning of your success line. Those are what you need to do at the beginning of your success line. Now, as you are running towards achieving your success, when you get to the middle, nearly getting to where you want to go, these are what you need to do. Number one, be specific about what you really want. The two blind men, when Jesus got to them, he asked them, what do you want me to do for you? They were specific. They said they want to have their sight and they got their sight. When you are writing down your dream, be specific. If you wish to buy a red car, write it down in your dream book. I will buy a red car by December 31st. Be specific. Number two, don't be angry with the people who are trying to stop you. Look at the two blind men. People around them try to stop them. They don't care about them. They were angry with themselves that they need to scream more to get what they needed. Don't get angry with what people say about you. Be angry with yourself. You are competing only with yourself and you will get what you needed. Number three, be persistent. So you might see a lot of setback when you are nearly getting to your success line. You might see a lot of discouragement. You might see a lot of lack. You might see a lot of fear. But persistence will encourage you to get to the finish line. In conclusion, persistence and patience work together if you want to get to your success line. So let persistence and patience be your friend when you are getting closer to your success line. Hope this encourages you to run after your dream. Speak to you soon. God bless.